So you want to install 5M to roleplay in GTA 5 in 2025? You have come to the right video. Let's get started. Now, the first step to download and install 5M is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install 5M in 2025. But if you don't want to read through this whole thing, which is very in-depth and detailed, I'm going to show you how to do it super quick. Just scroll down until you see the how to download 5M and then click on this download button right here. That is going to redirect over here where we're going to hit download client and that is going to open the terms of service of 5M. Feel free to read through this whole thing. If you don't want to read through it though and you just want to download it, just click sure, I agree. And then the download for the installer of 5M will begin right away. As you can see, we have it right here in our recent download history or you could probably find it on your downloads folder on your computer on your downloads default folder, right? Once you find that file though, we're gonna go ahead and draw and drop it into our desktop. Now for the next step, we have to make sure we have closed our GTA 5 game and we're gonna double click on the 5M installer. Now, once you double click 5M, it's going to start updating 5M, verifying game content. The next step is very crucial and you need to pay attention to install 5M without any issues. As you can see, it says 5M needs to update local game data. We're gonna go ahead and hit yes and give it a couple seconds for it to update the local game data. However, 5M is updating my local game data because it was able to locate my game automatically. But there's a big chance that it's not going to find your game automatically and if that does happen it's going to prompt you with a browser tab which is going to make you find your gta 5 installation folder now if that's the case finding your installation folder of gta 5 is actually quite simple there is an easy way to do it if you have the game through epic games through steam through rockstar it doesn't matter it's gonna be the same way so let's say that you have it through steam or that you have it through epic games i actually have it on both so i could show you here if you have it through steam you're simply gonna head over to steam then go to the library right click on gta 5 click manage and then click where it says browse local files and you're going to copy this address line right here on the top so just click in there and then copy that whole line and then just put it into your 5m browser and hit next and 5m will start installing properly if you have the game through epic games you're going to find your game in your library you're going to click on these three dots you're going to click on manage and then you're going to click on this open install location and you're going to copy this install location from the top just click in here select the whole thing go back into the installer of 5m paste that in there and then click next one more time and you will begin the installation of 5m and if that's too complicated for you if you head over to that second link where we started this guide earlier and you scroll down a little bit on the how to install 5m step you will see that i actually left all the default locations in here so these are the default install locations for gta 5 for epic games steam and rockstar so that's also another way that you could use to grab that install location for your gta 5 for 5m to be able to find it and once that's done this screen is going to come up in here we're going to hit accept and then we're going to give it a couple of seconds then it's going to put us over here feel free to sign in to save all your settings i'm not going to do it i'm just going to skip now once you're over here you're almost ready to start playing role play what you're going to do is you're going to head over to play and all the servers are going to come up the most popular servers and stuff however most servers will require you to have discord to join the servers this is done to make sure you're not a bot and you're an actual human so you could read through the rules and stuff of the servers so you most likely will need discord to join most servers some of the servers have different rules if they are whitelist or stuff like that you'll learn about that as you start role playing and now you're ready to start playing 5m in 2025 i hope this video helped you out if it did don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye